Hello, welcome to this sketchbook tour. This is my latest sketchbook. I've had it for over a year and as you can see it is well loved and also, yep, quite broken. <laughs> I got it from Flying Tiger and despite the pages that aren't too bad for the purpose I gave to the sketchbook, the back cover detached before I could go through all its pages. I got a bad quality sketchbook on purpose despite having nicer ones sitting at home only because then I would feel less pressure about the possibility of ruining it. Which honestly, I think it's a very silly thought. Sketchbooks are to be enjoyed and ruined if necessary, so I am letting go on this idea and I got myself a much nicer one after this one. I carry my sketchbook everywhere I go, that's why I wanted for my next one to be a more decent this time. As you can see, I don't use my sketchbook to do nice, finished, color drawings, except some that you saw that were for a commission. Um, but mostly, I'd rather use it as a place where I write and sketch ideas. I'll then use some other place or medium to finish these ideas, such as Procreate, if I want to develop a sketch digitally, or simply I'll draw the idea in a nicer paper if I want for it to become a proper traditional illustration, let's say. This is my favorite spread because here is when I started redesigning my alter ego with this character of mine and Jangi saying meow meow and I got the fever of comics that weekend and I just sketched all we did during the weekend and I never stopped. I've been doing comics ever since so I'm really fond of those pages of that little first spread. Here you will find sketches for commissions, for sculptures I made for exhibitions, or just designs that either became something in the future or that I made just for fun. Also, the cat skull design, as you can see. I sketch some of the sculptures I want to make because if the design is a bit complicated, sketching them gives me a better idea on how should I sculpt them. It makes me foresee the possible problems that the sculpture might present. I also made some doodles for my website when I was designing it. I wanted to include some of my illustrations to decorate the website, so I sketched them here as well. Well, here I was having a dinosaur face. I just watched Jurassic Park. I'm always in a dinosaur face, <laughs> I guess. This is a Grinch um, Marina drawing <laughs> I made. Uh, it was supposed to be a postcard for Christmas, but I didn't have the time to actually do it. So at least there is the sketch as a proof that I tried. As you can see, this is a pretty thick sketchbook. Some people prefer sketchbooks with less pages so that they can go through it sooner, which probably relieves some frustration and gives a feeling of productivity. But I quite enjoy thick sketchbooks because they become a sort of journal where I can revisit ideas and even see my own evolution as an artist, which I always find pretty fun and interesting. This is the reason why my sketches here might seem rather dull to you, I don't know, or at least definitely not as pretty as you're used to see on sketchbook tours all over YouTube, but you need to see it as what it is, I guess, merely thoughts translated onto paper. Here I was trying to find a way to sign my illustrations. I couldn't sleep that night and I just wrote the same thing over and over again. I don't know why I did that. I guess we are heading towards the end. The sketches are quite faint. This is a pencil I really love. But um, yeah, it's quite light. I don't know if you can see them properly.
Many of these sketches became prints that you can find at the shop or even stickers. These are some designs I made for Darwin. I tried to use only ink and not being able to erase. I thought that I would hate drawing this way, but I actually quite enjoyed it. And this is it guys, this is the end. There are just a few pages left as you can see. Hope you enjoyed this little sketchbook tour. If you did, please like and subscribe for more videos to come. And thank you so much for watching guys. See you very soon. Bye!